Did I use the right number? Hold on. Did I did I put the function correctly first? Is stress. Yep. Two a p is equal to one plus by cos fifty times by eight hundred uh, power of three. Wait, did I hold on? I think I just sorry is is wait p to a yeah so two what am I doing now here I I just ah <laughs> sorry do apologize so p is eight hundred times ten to power three multiply by two multiply four times ten to power minus three divide by one plus by cos 50 using the wrong equation so 800 power 3 times 2 times power 4 power minus 3 divided by uh, 1 plus by cos 50 is equal to 3.895 okay 3.895 896 times 10 to power 3 newton okay so this is due to the so this formula over here, then I can get rid of this. It's due to the normal stress allowable. Okay. Then we do the shear stress. Okay. So the shear stress is shear y twenty-five is equal to p over two a sine. 50 okay so we get p is going to shear y 25 uh, multiplied by 2a divided by sine 50 so this will be equal to the shear the allowable shear is 600 times 10 to power 3 multiply 2 multiply 4 times 10 to the power minus 3 divide by sine 50 okay 600 power 3 times 2 times 4 power minus 3 divided by sine 50 it's 6.266 okay times 10 to the power 3 newton due to allowable so therefore the p allowable you pick the smaller one okay the normal stress so therefore p allowable is equal to 3.896 times 10 to about 3 newton okay so again what we learn from here is regardless or the orient based on the orientation no regardless of how you rotate the element the stress average is always going to be the same okay so that's a key uh, one of the most important thing to take out from this example okay uh the last example that i'm going to do okay so there's example uh, to the last example. Okay. Again, very, very, very similar sort, but the information are given in a different context. Okay. So let's look at this now. Right. So the centric force P is applied on a short pose. Knowing that the stresses on plane AA are minus 15 and the shear is 5 uh, kilopascal, 
determine the beta angle, okay, that forms the horizontal and the maximum compressive stress in the port, okay. Right. Before we do anything, okay, I think I've taught this before, but in a different class. I'm going to uh, teach very briefly or quickly. We are going to use the rules of the circle. Okay. So if we draw a circle, any circle. So two, four, six, eight. Has to be a circle, okay. Okay. So we know where our center point is. So our center point is O. We're going to draw a straight line. Okay, at any orientation past the center of the circle. Okay. Then uh, from here, I'm going to pick uh, a random point. Okay, I'm going to pick a point over here. Okay, so um, I, I pick a point here. And I call this point C. This is my point A. And this is my point B. Okay, so when I join, Point A to point C, and then followed by point C to point B. Right. This is always a right angle. Okay. So let's say if I pick another point again. Okay. So let's say if I'm going to uh, be cheeky. Okay. I'm going to pick my point over here. Okay, so this is my point B. So when I do that, to this point, you can measure with your protractor, okay? All right? This is also going to be 90 degrees. Okay? So now if we join point C to point O, Right. And if we call this angle alpha, right, this angle over here will be two alpha. Right. So I'm I'm measure I'm measuring with my protractor now. So alpha, you can you can print this out and measure for yourself, okay? So this is thirty degrees. So the two alpha, right, so I'm measuring it now. It is uh, spot on sitting at 60 degrees. Why is that? Because this is also alpha, right? This is an isosceles triangle. These are the radiuses. Over here is 180 minus by two alpha. So that's why two alpha over there. Okay. Right? Okay. So that's how this is the rules of the circle. So we're going to use the rules of the circle to solve this problem. Okay, we're going to use the rules of the circle to solve this problem over here. We're going to apply rules of circle. So what we are given down here. Right? We know that we have a zero orientation element. Like the problem before. But now we have compression. Okay. And this is minus P over A. Okay. And then I'm going to draw our transformation X, Y. Okay. So from here, I'm going to call this our point uh, X. 
this is our point Y, right? So we know there's no forces coming from the side on, towards the left or, towards, or from the right. So that's why uh, stress X is equal to zero, right? Stress Y is equal to minus P over A. And then we also know that shear xy is equal to shear yx and is equal to zero. Okay, so this is the uh, principal plane orientation. Why? Because the shear is equal to zero. Okay, then This is rotated uh, at a certain angle uh, beta, right? So we are going to rotate this by a certain angle beta. What this angle is, I don't know, or we don't know. Okay, so we're going to rotate this angle. Okay, so it's rotated at a certain angle. What this angle is, we have no record on. Okay. But we have information. So the information that we have is we only know that is rotated from Okay, so from beta anticlockwise, right? Sorry, uh, is it no clockwise? Okay. So we know that if this is our y, right? This is also our y, right? So this rotation, so this point is our y beta. Okay. So if we use the top, same thing. Right. So this is our uh, y and rotated. This is y beta. And so beta. And we know on beta, we have a compression of minus 15. ASI. And because the load is applied from the top, the material wants to slide down this way, right? Right. So we have a shear going down this way and is at 5 KSI. Okay. So this point down here, which is known as our Y beta. So similar like what we had before, right? Similar like what we have before, we we had uh, two elements, okay, oriented at different point, but the question is phased differently now. So now we are going to construct a mole circle, okay? We're going to construct mole circle, okay? We're going to now this is we're going to construct mole circle. Okay, before I go on, so what do we know? We know that stress y beta is equal to uh, minus 15 ksi. All right, we know that. Stress x beta, we know that it's not equal to zero because the normal stress that equals zero is occupied already. Right? It cannot be zero. Okay, it cannot. It, 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 it can't be zero anymore, okay? Because this is the principal plane and it's the extreme points already, okay? So stress X beta cannot be equal to zero. Later on, you, you can see it better once we start constructing the mole circle. So stress Y beta is equal to shear X beta 
And this is equal to, so it's positive here, plus by five KSI. Okay, so from here, we are going to construct 